Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'd like to present you the chord name finder and reverse chord finder feature of the chord scale generator. First, switch to the chords perspective. First of all, I want to show you how easy it is to identify the names of a chord by the help of the box view. Here I activate the editing mode of the box view and add notes to the chord chart via double click. After I press the Find Chords button, all possible names of the chord are shown in the Chord Results view. There are also taken into account chords without a root note, third or fifth. In our example, the entered chord matches an A sus2, an E sus4, and for example, an A add 9 without third. If you only want to find exact matches, you can adjust the preferences for this calculation. If you want to find all chord charts, including fingerings for a certain chord, the chord generation view lets you specify a calculation like this. For more details, there is another tutorial that covers the chord generator feature. I want to conclude this tutorial with another cool feature that the chord finder functionality offers. Even if you're not familiar with musical notation, you can use the notes view to determine alternative fingerings of a certain chord that sound the same. First, choose a chord. Let's take this one. It looks quite difficult. Activate the editing mode of the notes view and press the Find Chords button. The chord results view now lists all chord shards of the entered chord that sound exactly the same, or at least almost exactly the same, according to your instrument. Well, enough for this video tutorial. We hope this tutorial helped you getting more familiar with the chord name finder and reverse chord finder feature of the chord scale generator. So, why don't you just watch some more tutorials or get your free test version of the chord scale generator now? Cheers! Your plug and play team!